you watch my videos, you know I'm all about edge, fierce. Locker. Okay, so basically right here I have a button down. And I got this one from Art and B, and I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. Because like I said, I like to make stuff my own. So basically I'm going to use the same concept as I did on that rusty hat that I showed Ladder. you. Paint effect, kind of like uh, Nicki Minaj's um, Roman Reloaded cover. So, but it's just going to be black and pink yeah I'm gonna splatter it with paint and I have it hanging on one of my plant stands outside of my house <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do the paint effect out here and then I'm going to add some items to the shirt to jazz it up this is going to be a straight up new style so if you want to learn keep watching and it's a two-part video this first part I'm gonna show you just the paint splatter thing the fun part just splattering paint and then um, the next part I'm gonna show you what I'm actually going to place on the shirt like spikes and stuff oh yeah it's gonna be nice so keep watching so it has these little ringlet things like this but I'm gonna just untie this because like I said I'm not gonna be using it as a shot anymore It's gonna be like a nice kind of just glowy like kimono jacket. And see it has like some prints up there for whatever I got on this freaking shirt. And it's not Tate, ladies and gentlemen. It's just you know how you just get stuff up there like some makeup or something. You wash it and it doesn't freaking come out. So I'm gonna turn this thing dark and pretty. So this is the front. And it's got like a little hollow effect. It's very, it's a very nice, I have like a copper color shirt like this. But, um, yeah. So, that's how it looks in the back. It's very nice. So I just did this, wanted to do this, and just to give you some ideas of how you can do these freaking shirts. So, sorry if I keep walking by. So basically, what I'm going to do first is this sucker up and what you're gonna do you're just gonna print it however you want to print it I'm not gonna do it all over like this I'm just gonna go like that you know add some effects to it give it like this spray paint And then what you want to do, you want to take a thin paintbrush like this. You can just take this and take the cap if you want to. I use the cap or do it however you want. You can use like a little saucer um, dish. But I'm just going to spray paint some of the spray paint in there like that. See how that's just swooshing on around? See? You can give it that splatter paint effect. Oh my gosh, I got it on my house. Oh gosh. My husband is going to kill me. Okay, pause. I gotta do something about that. Okay, y'all. So, I basically made a boo-boo on my house. So. Paint and splatter. See how beautiful I love splatter paint. Just look. Guys, as I'm doing it, I'm realizing now I don't want pink. I don't. Because just thinking about it, I can wear this with a lot more things if I just leave it cream and black. shirt every now and then make thin and thick marks. I cannot believe I'm getting this stuff on the house. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get this stuff off. <gasps> things we do for style, babies. I have this big freaking yard. I could have put the shirt on the ground and it would have been so much better. Because who cares if it gets on the grass, right? 
oh my god just keep splattering paint wherever you want to how thick thin you want to and just turn it over and we're gonna do the same to the back rustic how that is I'm gonna kind of leave that see how that is looks kind of I love this kind of look I don't even know what to call it the only thing I can say it's rustic rugged raw yeah okay guys I decided to show you one last quick concept okay you know how I said spray the paint in there like this spray um, paint in there like that and then take your brush and just splatter okay that is one way to do it but you also can add multiple dots you see these dots that's all you do is put you some stuff in there like that and just sprinkle it back and forth over the shirt like that see